held its annual European Alternative Investment Funds Conference on the 22nd and 23rd of November. More than 600 fund industry experts from 27 countries attended. Well, European institutional investors are starting to ask more and more for alternative investment funds that are managed in a sound regulatory framework. So we're starting to see the promise of AIFMD. This conference is a great opportunity for alternative fund managers to meet with Luxembourg fund industry experts to discuss growing their business for the benefit of investors. The topics addressed at this year's conference were highly relevant, extensive and diverse. The new European Commission had expressed its intention to regulate less but better. In the meantime, regulators are busy with the definition and implementation of technical specifications and guidelines. The alternative investment fund sector is obviously a very important focus point of ESMA's work because it brings together the investors with the financing of the real economy. And while we obviously see the benefits of bringing that together, we also need as regulators look at the potential risks and issues and how best to deal with them. One of the most prominent discussion topics on everybody's mind was the AIFMD third country passport. ESMA uh, issued its opinion at the beginning of summer in this respect. Unfortunately, uh, the opinion is not perfect. If ESMA would have listened more to the CSSF, it would look different. Now the file is in the hands of the European Commission, um, and the European Commission also has other important files to deal with, like the Capital Markets Union. Um, for the AFMD third country passport, a cautious approach would seem advisable, especially taking into consideration the Brexit discussions and where this will lead us. Recent developments in the field of taxation may have far-reaching implications on the alternative fund industry as well. PEPS and more recently the EU Anti-Tax Avoidance Directive will dramatically change the international tax landscape. Also, the recent developments are not aimed at the fund industry. Asset managers should still uh, assess the tax strategy and see if they still fit with the future. While asset managers are used to deal with and to adapt to a steadily evolving legal and regulatory environment, rapid technological developments constitute a more recent paradigm for the industry. A broad variety of financial technology companies is entering the market. Well, you know, fintech uh, challenge really challenged all of us uh, in the asset management industry from front, middle to back office. I think uh, it will be tremendous opportunities, but also a lot of challenges. Uh, it's, as Darwin puts it, it's uh, not the strongest that will survive, but those who are uh, most adaptable to change. Besides the opportunity to keep oneself knowledgeable about new trends and developments, Alfie's Alternative Investment Funds Conference offers participants an excellent networking platform. So being present at this conference is an excellent opportunity for us to catch up with relevant players in the Luxembourgish market, but also to exchange important views with the regulator. GAM, as a long-standing member of the Luxembourg fund community, is always committed to being present at the Alfie conference and therefore for us a very important venue for meeting our colleagues in the fund industry.